It is in. A jury sentenced convicted murderer Chad Daybell to death today. They found him guilty on all nine counts earlier this week. Murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and insurance fraud. Our Abby Davis was in court for it all. And have, Abby, how did people react? Carolyn, most of the victim's family members said they didn't really care whether Chad got death or life in prison. They're just relieved he's behind bars for the rest of his life. And so pursuant to Idaho Code 192515, uh, the court is directed that the defendant would be sentenced to death on those counts. Jurors decided Chad Daybell deserves the death penalty Saturday after about eight hours of deliberation. He's convicted of killing his first wife, Tammy, and two of his current wife's kids, JJ and Tylee, in 2019. This is the best justice we can possibly get. Colby Ryan is the kid's brother. It's a weird feeling. Um, you never wish harm on anybody, regardless of what they've done to you. Um, but at the end of the day, it's good that he's, he can't hurt anybody else, and that's what matters. The state had to prove at least one aggravating factor listed under Idaho law. Like were the murders especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel, manifesting exceptional depravity? Yes. Did he show an utter disregard for human life? Yes. Did he commit the murders for financial gain? Yes. The jury found all aggravating factors for the murders were true. Afterward, prosecutors thanked law enforcement who worked tirelessly on the case. We also want to applaud the incredible strength and resilience of the victims and family members who, despite unimaginable grief, have stood with us these past four and a half years in our pursuit of the truth. Everybody's support is how we have gotten through this. We got justice for our loved ones, and that was always what this was about. Turn out the lights. The party's over. In addition to death, the judge sentenced Chad to 15 years in prison for each of the two insurance fraud charges. He could file an appeal, Carolyn. I'm sure he could. Abby, tell us more about what it was like in court today. Well, it was a lot less tense than it was earlier this week as we were waiting for the guilty or not guilty verdict to come in as I was watching Chad. While the, while the clerk was reading the jury's decision today, he was very stoic, didn't really show any emotion at all. Larry and Kay Woodcock, JJ's grandparents, were holding hands the whole time. I caught up with Larry in the hallway right after I asked him how he was feeling, and he said that he was feeling wonderful. That was the word that, we, that he used, Carolyn. That one word right there. All right, Abby, appreciate your coverage. Thank you.